So the next thing I would like to do is to have my animation play on some sort of in-game in event, such as a player walking up to the chest and pressing a button. Before I do that, what I'd like to do is maybe tidy up my little uh, finite state machine on my animation controller here, just to so the logic plays out a bit more uh, sensibly. So what I'm going to do is actually add what we call so an empty state here. So I'm going to right click, create state, create an empty state. And this is just going to be my default sort of idle state for the chest. So it doesn't sort of play one of these two animation clips right off the bat. I want it to sort of sit in, a, in an idle state. And there's no in animation for that in this case. Obviously, with a character, you might have a... Uh, sort of an idle sort of board tapping their feet sort of uh, 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 animation. So for here, this new state, I'm just going to rename this animation state idle. I'm going to right click again on this one and make it the default state in my animation system. Cool. And then I'll just do the same thing again. I'll right click, make transition, and make a noodle into chest open. And in the next video, I'll show you how to transition into sort of this loop based on some sort of parameter uh, defined uh, that's influenced by an external event. One thing you can do if you'd like to add a, a default animation or some sort of animation to this empty state, uh, Later down the line, you can just drag and drop or circle select an animation clip up in this motion field here, and you can add an animation clip onto that uh, particular field. So you could, for example, in, in a case of a character, add a sort of tapping foot animation later on down the line.